Hey everybody, it's Lori Broccolini, HappyNaturalHorse.com and Natural Econ Remedies, helping you help your horse stay sound and healthy. Now this is a picture of a draft cross horse, and I've known this lady for since I got out of school. I'm the one that um, I went down and helped her buy this horse, sort of like a vet check, but she wanted me to see him before she bought him. Now he's about 20 years old. And he's a sweet horse. His name is Odie. And this last summer of 2019, he had sort of dislocated his hip. And you can see it's dropped down here. And she's done everything since then. I could get down to her. And um, she lives sort of far away. And I couldn't be able to help her anyway. But her husband, boyfriend was able to push the hip up and get it back in. To where he could walk and the vet couldn't do anything um, I don't know if she tried a chiropractor or not um, but they did get the hip back in and so since then he has been dragging his foot moves really slowly I can't find the video on it um, she did send me one but I don't know where it is I can't find it but anyway so but this is a picture and you can see how bad it is now this is when it first happened so I don't have any new photos of it, but I wanted to give you an update. So last week I went out and I finally got down there to see her. And she has put this horse on everything. So we took him off half the stuff. She's still on the Big Sky Minerals and a joint supplement. But what we did was something more profound. This horse, after he put it in, had a lot of scar tissue. And after muscle testing him and looking at him, I said, you know, he could have cracked that bone or he could have just torn it out and like torn all the ligaments around there. And he has dropped a little bit of weight, but that's only because she has mixed like 20 ingredients into his diet and, and he just can't do it. So we're taking, we took half of him away. And, um, and so her boyfriend, husband, what he does is he takes the foot, and I showed him what to do, and he has to pick the foot up to about here and bend this ankle so this moves. And he has to do it twice a day, and he has to do it to the resistance, and then he moves it a little more. And what that does is it starts working these muscles that have scar tissue on there, okay? And then I gave her my limit tissue lotion to rub in there every single day and start moving that muscle around. The next thing we did was we picked up the leg and we picked it up so it bent a little bit and then we moved it completely back as far back as we could go with the toe so that we could work this muscle loose and he's been doing it and I will show you what they've been telling me. Now this has only been a week. So then she got the homeopathic colic floor, some rust toxin rutigraw and I think he wanted something else. The hyperkin, hypersin. I can't say it very well. Because an H. Hypersin. And hypercarparin. That's just what it's called. And we gave him that for, she's given him that for a week. So then what we used is we used, and we had to do this all at the same time. So then we put the AccuLife patches on three days in a row on each side. One, the, the, the brown was on the left and the white is on the right pretty sure so yeah left right yeah the white the white patches on the right and we put them up here so that it would help with his pain and then she used to walk him up a little small hill five times a day and here is her testimonial Mike is doing the exercises twice a day twice a day he said he's getting less and less resistance from Cody as long as he's walking slowly Cody is picking his hoof up more and more every day. So this is, this is like one week of doing this. So I really, really um, commend these people for sticking in there and trying to help their horse. Now, do I think he's going to make a full recovery? That remains to be seen. Um, I told her that if we see improvement, then we have to stay on the path. And we're seeing improvement after one week of having him since last June or July or August 
since he did the damage to his his really that's his pelvis area um that is a good sign now, whether or not he'll make full recovery i don't know but he's showing really good signs of full recovery and the AccuLife is going to really help him, the patches and the homeopathics and everything else I'm giving him. But it's mostly the Big Sky Minerals with the mini Zine, Black Wolves and Flower Seeds, cutting back on all the stuff she's been giving him. <laughs> and um, we'll see how it goes. So hopefully we'll get a video next week um, and I'll let you be up to date. But this is promising because otherwise he'd be a pasture ornament. And she was so grateful for me to come out. But when he, anytime you have any kind of scar tissue uh, from an injury like this, and the horse is like this, I mean, this is definitely a hip problem. Like, if that is constantly like that, and he doesn't have an abscess, this is definitely in here. Not down here. They did x-rays. This was clean. It's up in here. And that's really hard for a vet to determine. But there's a lot of tissue in here. And you got to work that tissue loose. And the only way you to do it with a deep tissue lotion, homeopathics, constant massage. She found a massage thing. Uh, she found a small magnet. And then the other thing we did was we put the mini sign, put that on there a little bit, like smooth it out, and then take the magnet and use that. That's a small trick. And that'll help start moving the energy around this. But it's mostly her, her boyfriend, husband, that's really helping her a lot. So just wanted to keep you informed on what to do with soft tissue, um, scar tissue, really, damage that your horse has. And there is hope. There is hope. So I'm really excited. And you can see his good body weight there, but he has lost the weight from the pain and not being able to move around as much. So, um, but we're addressing it and we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know next week. Happy Natural. Any questions? HappyNaturalHorse.com. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.